Hi everyone, Woohoo here from the Coin Dictionary, and today I've got for you this 1958 halfpenny from Rhodesia and Nyasaland. We'll go over the history, the value, the basics, and any other pertinent information about this coin. So let's get started. On the obverse, we see two giraffes facing each other around the uh, central hole there. We see text around that says Queen Elizabeth II and a crown just above the hole representing uh, the British monarchy at the time. Uh, this side was engraved by Bernard Sindal. Actually, the whole coin was, as we turn this over to the other side, a rather simple design. Half penny inside uh, some uh, leaves around the outside there, uh, surrounding the central hole, and the country name, Rhodesia and Nyasaland, as well as the date of mintage down below, 1958. Now, Rhodesia and Nyasaland was a federation of three territories in southern Africa. Uh, southern Rhodesia, which is now Zimbabwe, the British Protectorate of Northern Rhodesia, which is now Zambia, and Nyasaland, which is now uh, Malawi. It was created on the 1st of August, 1953, and uh, remained as an entity until December 31st, 1963. Uh, they had a pre-decimal pound, uh, which uh, mirrored the British system, so 480 of these equaled one pound. Uh, these are bronze in composition. They weigh 2.92 grams, 21 millimeters in diameter, 1.25 millimeters thick with a smooth edge, and perhaps most obviously a central hole, as you can see right there. And with the fall of Rhodesia and Nyasaland in 1963, these actually um, were officially demonetized in 1973. Um, now, 1958 has a mintage of 2.4 million for circulation. It is the most common uh, year of the date run, which was uh, 1955 to 1964, produced at the London Tower Hill Royal Mint. Uh, so these don't have any, you know, face value anymore. Uh, in other words, you can't spend these anymore. But if you were to go on eBay and try to find one, um, the, the price ranges from about one or two dollars in uh, circulated condition and uh, brown condition, that is to say no luster remaining on the coin, to those that are as lustrous as this example going for five to even nine dollars I'm seeing on the top end of things. Anyway, hope that cleared up some information on this coin, and I'll see you next time when I've got another coin to talk about. I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching the video. My name's Christian, and I own The Coin Dictionary, and I'd also encourage you to visit us at our website, thecoindictionary.com, and on Instagram, at thecoindictionary. And I'd also like to draw your attention to some other helpful coin resources, such as my other YouTube channel, Treasure Town, which does more in-depth videos about coins and collectibles, as well as some resources like coinmeltprice.com, which shows up-to-date Precious Metals Pricing, as well as the melt values of the coins that you own. CoinsMetalsCards.com, which will both be a marketplace and a news source for coins, metals, and cards, as the name suggests. As well as What'sTheGrade.com, which will develop into a stickering service for already graded collectibles. Have a great day, and I hope to see you on some of our other videos.